Hey crafty fam, it's Alex Vanover and welcome back to my craft room. And in this video, I'm gonna be comparing epoxy resin or just epoxy to UV resin. I'm gonna tell you about the differences about them, what they have in common, and what I use each of them for. So let's get started. So we're gonna start with epoxy resin. So as you can see, epoxy resin comes in much bigger bottles than UV resin, and it's gonna come with two parts, A and B. One part of the epoxy is the actual epoxy itself, and the other part is the hardener. And in order to get the epoxy to mix together and be able to use in your projects, you're gonna mix equal parts, or a one-to-one -one ratio, of parts A and B together, and then that creates the chemical reaction that allows you to use epoxy on tumblers or whatever else you're going to use them on. So mixing is definitely required with epoxy. However, it is quite a bit cheaper to buy epoxy versus UV resin because even though the volume is smaller with UV resin, it's gonna cost quite a bit more um, in comparison to the volume. Another main thing you need to understand about epoxy is the long cure time. So I would say five to six hours for a thin coat of epoxy would be pretty fast for epoxy to cure. I would say I wait eight to 12 hours bare minimum before I mess with any of my epoxy projects. So the cure time does require some patience. Another thing to understand about epoxy is that it is self-leveling and that's why with tumblers you have to turn them on their side equally the entire time that the epoxy is curing so that the coat remains even and consistent. So let's talk about the ways that you're gonna use epoxy for most crafts. So the first way that's the most common is for glitter tumblers. This is definitely the product you wanna be using for glitter tumblers. Do not even attempt to make glitter tumblers using UV resin. Another great use for epoxy is colored or complex molds. So epoxy can be poured into just about any mold and it's gonna conform and end up in the shape that you put it in the mold. Whereas UV resin requires light to penetrate the mold, so you're a little bit more limited in what you can do there. So with epoxy, you can do more three-dimensional crafts and more complex crafts because after you mix the one-to-one -one ratio together, all you have to do is lay the epoxy level and give it time to cure and it's gonna do all the work itself. So let's talk about UV resin. So the first difference that we already touched on previously is that it comes in a much smaller bottle. However, there is no mixing required. The way that you receive this UV resin bottle is exactly the way that you use it. No mixing necessary. The next thing to understand about UV resin is that it requires UV light in order to cure. So I highly recommend that you grab a nail lamp off of Amazon in order to help yourself along with that. Of course, you can use the UV light from the sunshine if you'd like, but since the weather's not always gonna be consistent, I highly recommend you having a UV lamp and then you can use the sun as a backup, you know, in case you don't wanna use your lamp that day. That is still perfectly reasonable. But when you're buying a UV lamp off Amazon, make sure that it's a minimum of 50 watts because any nail lamps less than that are not going to have enough power to completely cure your UV resin. And I have both of these products in my Amazon store. So if you want to check those out in the links below, um, I have linked both of the ones I have used and loved. Um, just because when you search for both of these on Amazon, you'll be surprised how many search results there are. Since UV resin requires UV light in order to cure, you are a little more limited in the ways that you can use UV resin. My favorite way to use UV resin is on acrylic blanks. So like I touched on before, UV resin cures super fast. So that's a lot different than epoxy resin. So each layer that you apply with your UV resin is gonna need to cure in the lamp one to two minutes each. So if you're doing three or four layers, you know that's eight to 10 minutes of actual cure time versus hours that you're gonna be waiting with epoxy, which is awesome because I love being able to finish my projects all in one sitting without having to wait a ton of time in between each layer, but because you have to be able to put the UV lamp over top of it, of course you're really limited in what you can do with it versus epoxy, you can get a lot more three-dimensional. So it just depends on what project you're doing as to what product you need to choose. Another way that you can use UV resin is in shallow, clear molds. So if you guys have seen my silicone um, mold video, you'll remember my bookmark mold. This would be a great example of a mold that you could use either UV resin or epoxy in. Because this is shallow and clear, the UV light will be able to penetrate this easily and cure the epoxy, no, or cure the UV resin, no problem. However, a mold like this that is not gonna be able to get light shine through it would not be the best choice for UV resin. So keep in mind when you're choosing molds for your UV resin that they must be clear and fairly shallow. 
And another great way to use UV resin is with jewelry. I'm not a huge jewelry maker myself, um, but that's a great choice if you are really big into jewelry. UV resin is going to work most of the time. One thing that I've noticed about UV resin is that the brand that you buy really does matter. With epoxy, there's tons of brands that people like, and you'll hear people try lots of different things and love it. But with UV resin, you do have to be careful about buying brands that you know are actually gonna be high quality. So like I mentioned before, I love this brand. I've been using it forever, and it is in my Amazon store if you wanna check that out. That's not necessarily the only option, but it's one of the most highly recommended that I'm aware of, and I've had great success with it every time. So I use both epoxy and UV resin depending on the project. It just kind of depends on what I'm doing and what I'm in the mood for. And eventually I recommend that you guys graduate to both of these, but I find UV resin a little bit less intimidating. So if it's something you wanna try and get used to, I think UV resin is a great place to start. But let me give you another couple of questions that I get regularly, and hopefully this will answer some of your questions. Uh, people ask me quite often if UV resin has as equally strong of a smell as epoxy, and the answer to that is definitely yes. Um, the brand of epoxy kind of depends to me about how strong the smell is, but I have always experienced a strong smell with UV resin. Which brings me to my next point. Please make sure that you remember that both epoxy and UV resin are both chemicals, so you need to take the proper precautions and be safe when you're using both of them. So here's what that means to me. Bare minimum, you need to be using gloves whenever you're crafting with either of these products. You also need to be in a well-ventilated area. So uh, that means, like for example, if you're in a bedroom, I highly recommend opening a window and the door so that the room is getting good airflow while you're working with either of these products. You can also open the door and add um, like a portable fan or turn on a ceiling fan, and that helps promote good airflow as well. You can also do things like go outside or craft in your garage um, and open the garage door a little bit of the way. So there's a lot of different ways to stay safe, but I highly recommend at the bare minimum doing those two things. I also also personally wear a mask when I craft with either of these items. Um, I use N95 masks because that's what works for me. I have my eye on a more intense respirator, but due to the coronavirus pandemic, I can't get a hold of it right now. So I highly recommend that you use a mask, but that's a personal choice that you'll have to make. So I'm gonna summarize the differences between UV resin and epoxy really, really fast for you in case you're overwhelmed by all this information. So first, Epoxy resin has to be mixed together in a one-to-one -one ratio, but it comes in bigger bottles. UV resin doesn't have to be mixed together, but it comes in much smaller bottles. Epoxy resin has a long cure time of five to six hours bare minimum. UV resin is cured using UV light, and it can be cured in a matter of minutes. And lastly, the differences are the uses. So epoxy resin is what you want to use for glitter tumblers, complex and colored silicone molds, whereas UV resin you want to use on small flat projects, such as acrylic blanks, small flat and shallow molds, and jewelry. So crafters, I hope that answers all of your questions about epoxy and UV resin and clears up some information that I know can be kind of confusing, um, especially if you've watched a lot of different videos by a lot of different creators. But I would always encourage you to drop any of your questions in the comments because you know that I'd be happy to answer them for you. And if you want to chat more about epoxy or UV resin or anything that's on your mind, you know that I'd love to chat with you on social media. So I'll put all of my social media handles here on the screen so that you can reach out to me on any platform that you're on to. And if you haven't already, please make sure that you click right here to subscribe to DIY Alex, scroll down just a little bit, ring the bell, and select all notifications from the drop down menu so that you get notified every time I post a new video. I hope we can craft again soon.